Uh, I'm filming another video for Project Relaxed. Um, so right now is December 14th. This is considered week 12. Um, still super stressed out um, this week because uh, a lot of stuff to do. I'm today I, I finished up some stuff for SG Studios. Um, still have more stuff for retroactive to do. And I'm way behind on letter brush orders. I have a lot of orders. I have 21 orders so far in December. And um, yeah, I'm behind on some and Christmas is next week and you know I just have a lot to do. Um, so this week has been pretty fun. I guess some things worth mentioning are the Spartan run I did last week. And that was pretty fun. I uh, went up to LA and stuff. <clears throat> oh, I, I hear a little bit of sickness. Um, uh, another thing I did was I went to the Queen Mary uh, on a date with this girl I met at, a, at CTN. And that was pretty fun. We had a pretty good time. Um, during the date, I did get this feeling. I, I thought she was really cute. She was gorgeous. Uh, I got this feeling that I, I don't know if we clicked click really well and uh, actually today she actually texted me saying that, um, that she would like us to be friends you know and at first I was kind of like sad and disappointed but I think being sad and disappointed was just like a conditioned reaction you know it's like oh like I'm not good enough like that's that's like the involuntary response that I get but then I was like hmm you know when I think about it I I felt like we were missing some chemistry, and um, and I I felt that, and I think she felt it too. I think it was pretty apparent, um, even though I, you know, I was attracted to her and she had fun on the date. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's that romantic chemistry. And um, yeah, um, so it didn't feel that bad, and and I know that because. Um, you know, I do online dating and I go out and I approach girls who I, I talk to girls, I'm always trying to meet girls who I think I might be interested in. I don't feel like, oh, she, she's like the only girl in the world. I know like, hey, that's totally cool, we can totally be friends. And I know that there's still a lot of other fish out there. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of other um, options out there. And, you know, when the right time comes, you know, I'll find someone, you know, when I'm ready. Uh, let's see, I also went to this uh, dinner banquet thing with my dad, um, company, event, magic show, it was pretty fun. Um, let's see, oh, something really worth mentioning is I went to this Jason Shire workshop in uh, San Bernardino, and what was really cool is I made these Christmas cards for Thomas Brillante, who hosts the workshops. And um, I was, I made this card, and I was getting everyone in the workshop to sign the card. And Thomas thought I was like soliciting email list or whatever, and he was really suspicious. He, he thought I was like doing something shady. And in the end, I, I showed him the card with all the signatures and everything. And you know, he he almost cried, dude. He was really touched, and I think it made a really big difference, like. He does a bunch of work and he contributes huge value to the art community. And I think show him, showing him that little bit of gratitude, it's not like I spend that much time on it, you know, but I, I think it was a huge impact. I also made a card for my friend Jason and I think he really appreciated that too. Um, my friend Jason, he's just a really nice guy overall, dude. He's so respectful and kind. Uh, of everyone he's someone I really admire as like a person you know not just as an artist he's, he's a great guy um, let me see. oh recently I've been reading this book called can't buy me like all right and um, how what that has to do with stuff is um, the why why am I doing letter legendary letter brush and I think it's because to create legend I want to create legendary gifts and that's something I could probably make stronger and more apparent in my brand. Like for my name painting stuff, I actually had a client <laughs> who I didn't like come back and I 
deferred the client to some other name painters and maybe if I'm too busy with theme park stuff I can find some other freelance artists and I can defer the work to them um, or something that's just one method but whatever okay all right that's it that's good enough for this week okay bye